In this video, we will talk about Geiger Muller counter. It is popularly known as GM counter. We will try to understand what is Geiger Muller counter, how does it measure radiation, and where do we use it. The nuclear radiations can be detected by GM counter. We have seen the uh, effect of these nuclear radiations in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, these nuclear radiations are majorly three types of uh, radiations. One is the alpha decay, the second one is beta decay, and the third one is gamma ray. All these are dangerous. Alpha decay consists of helium nucleus, which has two protons and two neutrons, whereas beta decay is nothing but a electron with very high speed. Gamma rays are uh, high frequency, high energetic rays and all are, uh, all of them are equally dangerous. The alpha decay uh, penetration power is the minimum and it can be stopped with the help of a piece of paper, whereas beta decay has higher penetration power and we need aluminum sheet to stop the beta decay, whereas the gamma rays have the highest penetration power and will need need sheets or concrete to stop the gamma rays. Now, how, how do we count the radiation? The idea was proposed in 1908, but it took almost 20 years to build the first Geiger Muller tube. Geiger and his PhD student Muller designed this first uh, GM tube in 1928. Now, what does it consist of? It consists of a cylindrical cathode, which is made up of normally copper or any metal. And we have the uh, tungsten wire, which acts as an anode. There is a mica window from one side, where the radiation is allowed to enter into the cylinder or the GM tube, uh, whereas the other end is closed with the solid material. This system is connected with the high voltage supply uh, to the anode and cathode and then uh, whenever the radiation incident on the uh, gas which is present inside the uh, chamber, this gas will get ionized and the electron will release. These electrons can get accelerated towards the anode and the ions which are positively charged, they can go to the uh, cylindrical cathode. Now, when these electrons get uh, attached with the anode, it will create a signal which can be detected by the detector. Also, we can hear the sound of this click when this electron will reach to the anode. This uh, instrument can be used for detection of alpha decay and beta decay. The voltage that is supplied is normally in the range of 300 volt to 700 volt and we can have the counts per minute or per second. The gas that is used here is helium or neon or argon that is the inert gases and they are kept at low pressure that is 10 centimeter pressure. Also. Uh, when the, uh, the atom get ionized, the electron may uh, strike on the other atoms and it can create the avalanche of the uh, electrons so that there could be a, a discharge in between the cathode and anode. To avoid this discharge, 10% ethyl alcohol at 1 centimeter pressure is used in, with the mixture of this gas. Now this counter counts or we can hear the sound or we can listen the counts through the speakers also. Now let us see how experimentally we can use this GM counter. This is a experimental arrangement of GM counter. You can see a very small tube of, uh, here at the top and which is attached with the high voltage supply and uh, the positive is given at the central rod which is made up of uh, tungsten that we have seen and the outer one is the copper. 
the relative sample is kept in the slots you can use like third slot fourth slot fifth slot and so on and so forth and then the radiation will be allowed to pass into the gmp now you should be very careful doing this experiment should, you should not touch the end window of gm tube because there is always possibility of radioactivity that is coming towards this gm tube also there is high voltage at this uh, end now the third image shows the counter you can just press the press button and set the voltage and then start the count every time when you count the counts then you should reset the count before the another observation uh, this kind of plot you can have and you can see that the counts will be available only after certain voltage like in this case it is about 300 volt and then in between 300 volt to say 900 or 950 volt you have almost constant uh, uh, counts so that is what it is called as operating range where you can send the uh, radiation and you can get some electrons and these electrons will be detected if we increase the uh, voltage between the cathode and anode uh, it is possible that electron will be um, push or they will be attracted towards the anode so quickly that they can uh, create some discharge and because of the discharge the count will be so high any particle radioactive particle is not creating one electron but it is creating more than one electron and therefore what are the count you are getting is not the correct count uh, you should always ideally operate this gm counter in the operating range and the ideal uh, voltage will be uh, in the middle of this plateau region now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of this gm counter the gm counter is very cheap uh, it is robust you can use it in a different environment it is handy you can carry it anywhere and it is fairly accurate the disadvantages are it cannot measure the energy of alpha or beta decay so it cannot distinguish between alpha and beta decay and it is not useful at higher rate like uh, it can uh, work up to 500 counts per second but if the uh, radiation is coming more than this rate then the counter will not be able to count properly because it has a dead time of 200 microsecond for example it counts the signal or the uh, decay or the particle radioactive particle that is coming and then it takes some time to recover the tube so that dead time is about 200 microsecond so higher rates is not useful for this uh, gm counter thank you